Hello and welcome to the BCC's economic review for August. So the key headline domestically is that we saw UK growth pick up in the second quarter of this year to 0.7% from 0.4% in the first quarter of this year. So that's good news for the economy. Um, but when you look beneath the headline figures, the actual picture is much more mixed. We saw the service sector perform well once again, it's a dominant sector of the UK economy. While in contrast, the manufacturing and construction sectors remain fairly weak. Now, over the past month, the surprise bit of economic news was that we saw unemployment in the UK rise for the first time in two years. Um, but despite this slightly weakening in conditions, the uh, jobs market in the UK remains relatively strong. And we're also seeing earnings increasing at a good rate, which is good, which is important for household spending. Um, and we, we expect, um, at least in the near term, that the UK jobs market to play a key role in supporting growth. So that's the domestic picture. Now internationally, um, two countries have dominated the, the international economic picture over the last month or so. Firstly, China, which saw stock prices in China plummet by almost a third in the past month as, as investors, particularly small-scale investors um, with, with high levels of debts, started selling um, at a rapid scale. There were also concerns over the outlook for the, for the Chinese economy as well, which could have major impacts on global growth, given that the China, China is the second largest economy in the world. Um, the second country is Greece, of course. Um, now is we expect that Greece is we seem to be bailed out for the third time, um, which means that their, their membership for the eurozone looks safe at least in the short term. However, having said that, the outlook for Greece remains bleak. Um, a sobering thought is that Greek government debt currently stands at almost double the size of their own economy, and, and that's and without. Um, some sort of major debt relief or economic growth or major economic growth in Greece, the outlook for the country remains uh, relatively bleak. So in summary, um, UK economy is growing at good pace, but growth remains unbalanced and, and reliant on services and consumer spending. Um, but internationally, there's a, there's a great deal of uncertainty um, as evidenced by China and Greece. And, and this international uncertainty, uncertainty means that the embassy should wait when considering when to raise interest rates to not to make sure that we don't derail the recovery in the UK. Thank you.